Hey guys, so today I'm back and I just made a trip to Sephora. So as you can tell by the title, this is a tutorial on how to spend all your life savings because when you go in there you just forget what life is all about and then you buy everything and it's been a while since I got stuff so I'm gonna show you what I got in case you guys are wondering and if you guys are thinking about splashing some cash as well uh, the sun keeps coming in and out and there's nothing I can do about it so I'm gonna be trying some of these products on my face as well just to show you guys how they look so let's do it there goes the sun do 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 Oh wait, it's... Oh! Here comes the sun! <laughs> do, do, do. So fitting. So the first thing I got is this Olé Olé Henriksen cream set. So you guys should know that I love this trans sheer transformation cream. But I thought I would try this set first to see like what their other products are. So in here there is an African Red Tea Foaming Cleanser. There is a Truth Serum Collagen Booster which reduces lines and wrinkles, never too early to prevent fine lines. It's got the sheer transformation cream that I absolutely love, and it's got the invigorating, invigorating, invigorating night treatment, and then it's got an ultimate lift eye gel. Um, oh my god, there's like noises everywhere. Shut up! Um, and that says it's a cooling eye gel with biopeptides, Hyaluronic acid cucumber extracts. I swear they just put these kind of um, ingredients in to fool people into thinking it's like super cool because obviously no one knows what the heck is that. The next thing I got is this Better Than Sex Mascara. Yes. I don't know about the name, but you know. So the reason I got this is because I've heard a lot of good things about the original one, which is in the pink packaging, but this is waterproof and you know that I only use waterproof mascara because my eyelashes are like So actually, let's try it on now. Hello. Excuse my breaking out, it's that time of month again and I'm sure all you females out there can relate. Alright, so the packaging comes like this. It's really pretty actually, it looks kind of wet and it's really heavy. So what I look for in a mascara is that it lengthens. Ah! Uh, no! See, we all have the same struggles, people. So this is like, got it all over the eyelids. Congrats, congrats. So that's one coat. Uh, I think that's pretty good. What do you guys think? Yay, nay? How much was this? Let me tell you. Holy moly, how much did I spend? <laughs> okay, because they like said they emailed me the receipt, I didn't look until just now. No dinner for a week. This was $23. By the way, do you like this hair? I did it with a flat iron. It's kind of like, I'm not a girl, not yet a mermaid. So the next one I got is the Kat Von D Lolita. Uh, liquid lipstick. I'm like five years too late on the bandwagon, but because I have so many lip products I try to like refrain from buying too much, but I thought I would go in and give this a try So that is Lolita. It's kind of like a Red brick kind of shade kind of brownie red if you have darker skin It'll look very natural if you have lighter skin. It'll look more like a dark You know like reddish brown. Yeah, it dries to a really nice matte Not too drying but matte so the next thing I got is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer and this is the one where it's got like a slanted longer kind of pencil so you know the Brow Wiz is the very small crayon thing. This one has a long... Okay, let me just open it and you can see for yourself. So this is the tip I'm talking about. It's kind of slanted and I guess it just makes it easier to kind of recreate that curve. I already have my eyebrows drawn on but let's... I got mine in the shade medium brown. So yeah, it just makes it really easy to draw on that brow. Dude, this mascara is like, ugh. Sorry, I am a mess right now. I am, you know that time of the month. My mental state is like... The next thing I got is this dry shampoo and it's the triple sec 3-in-1 so it texturizes, amplifies and refreshes so it gives volume and texture as well. Let's try it out shall we? Triple sec. Isn't that like an alcohol? I don't know. 
Mmm, smells like vanilla. Oh yeah, that smells so good. So just blast it into the roots. Ooh, that smells are so good. Creates tussled, sexy texture. I am all about that sexy texture, yes. So yeah, just kind of work it through your hair. And voila. And the reason why I picked this one is because it had that texturizing quality. So you don't have to buy like a dry shampoo and a hair texturizer. So the fact that it's like three in one, I thought was really cool. Um, but yes. Okay, the next two things I got are under eye concealers because my bangs have been crazy. So I've been watching How to Get Away with Murder. That is second season just came out. I finally caught up on House of Cards and I've been watching, what's the other one? The one with the blind dude, ah, Daredevil. So that's probably added to my under eye circle. So of course I had to invest in some correctors. So the first thing, oh, thing. the first thing I got is this Tarte Colored Clay CC under eye corrector. So I got this in the shade light medium. So it comes like this, really pretty, kind of like, you know, the earth clay type of thing. And then it comes like this. So I guess you just kind of dab your fingers in it and pat it under the eye. I'll probably do a tutorial next, like as my next video, and I'll show you guys how this goes. Um, but yeah, I've heard good things about this. So the next thing I picked up was this Sephora Gel Serum Concealer. So I swatched this on my hand and it was really creamy. Like the texture of it was really nice and thick. So yeah, I wanted to give this a try. I got it in the shade Madeline. I think this is like the perfect color because it was yellow based. It wasn't pink. The yellow based concealers are really good at brightening up the under eye. So yes, I got this and it was only like $14. And then the last thing I got is another moisturizer. This is the Belief True Queen Queen Queen? cream aqua bomb and i ran out of this one as well so my favorite creams are actually this one and the ole henriksen sheer transformation you can watch that in my uh skincare wash off daily acne video i forgot what it's called um but i ran out of that so i got another one and this is 22 dollars. if you guys have combination oily skin i highly recommend those two creams because they work a treat okay and because i spent like a bajillion dollars i just thought i would go ahead and claim my prize this was 500 points or something so that sent me back a little but it's this nas makeup the rules box and i love nas as a brand it's like yeah, probably my favorite cosmetics brand. Ooh, goodies! So it comes with a blush. Dude, this just looks like orgasm. Oh my god, it is orgasm! Alright, well, there you go. Another orgasm for me. Next thing I got is this mascara. God, I hate packaging. So I wonder what... Ooh, it's really cute. Okay, so this is the mascara. So it's got like really intense kind of spikes. What's next? Um, a lip gloss. So it's this really pretty kind of nude shade lip gloss. Can you see it? I'm not really a person that wears lip gloss, but this looks totally up my kind of color scheme. So maybe I'll use that in the next tutorial as well. And then the last thing is a smudge proof eyeshadow base. Ooh! Eye primer is always a must, especially now that it's getting hotter. Like. If you guys find that you put on your your foundation and then, you know, you put it over the eyelids and you find that in the crease it kind of like has that layer of uh, foundation, that's when you know you have oily eyelids and you probably need to invest in an eye primer. You could get this Pro Prime smudge proof something. Um, yes, I think that is all I have to say. Remember to follow me on my Instagram so we can... Stay connected and I'll see you guys later. Bye.